Welcome to CES 2013. Welcome to CES 2013. Welcome to the CES uh, in Las Vegas. Welcome to CES, and uh, this is Brady with Audio Engine. Welcome to CES 2013. Hey, Noli the Head Monster here. Welcome to CES 2013 in Las Vegas. Check it out. My name is Gary Shapiro. I'm President and CEO of the Consumer Electronics Association. Welcome to the 2013 International CES in Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah, International CES is the world's largest consumer technology and innovation event. It's the World Cup of Technology. Our success stems from the fact that this industry is growing so fast and so quickly. And with every government in the world struggling with the concept of revenues and taxes, there's a third thing called growth. CES is special and unique because here, U.S. being the cornerstone of development technology, you always see what's new and unique from various companies throughout the consumer electronic industry. I mean, it's the number one consumer electronic show in the world. Um, this is a great place for us. I love CES. We've been doing this um, with other partners for years. Um, we were the first company um, ever to do a digital download, for instance, at CES back in 2008. We did it with NBC Universal, and we had a great time doing it. It was a blast. You walk into the convention center in Vegas, and it's a 360-degree view of the future of technology, items that you're going to have in your living room, throughout your house, and even in your pocket uh, with TVs, phones, and other devices that you couldn't even imagine yet. It's like no other show there is. It's that kind of communication I think that CES allows us to, to get into that opens up the, the world for us. It's an interesting show. It brings together so many people from all over the world, and uh, you know, with all these common you know people that are into tech products and into audio and video and everything. That's why uh, you get the best of the best in speakers. You get the best of the best in manufacturers, and that's where a lot of products are debuted. And it creates the excitement that keeps going on and on. And uh, I anticipate that this is a banner year for uh, CES. It'll keep on growing up. The CES has grown uh, dramatically. It's more than tripled in size in the last 20 years. And that also reflects the size of the industry uh, worldwide. We've seen the growth of smartphones, the internet, wireless, uh, tablets, gaming. Uh, we've shifted to high definition television. The car has become, instead of just an avenue for radio, is also navigational devices, collision avoidance technology. There's so many trends and things going on which have made a difference in the lives of average people that the trade shows like CES and IFA have grown to reflect that. is uh, basically is a very uh, simple and professional. First is uh, connect your mobile phone or iPad for the Bluetooth connection to listen to music and also you can use it as a stylish, as a pen to, to, to handle your, your, your words, documents in, in your iPad or iPhone. Also, there is another very good function is to pick up your phone call in, in case there's any phone calls coming so you can pick up the phone call as well. You can, we can put our amplifiers and speakers inside a cabinet and tune them together so that um, you, know, you, we can, you can replace just a standard passive speakers and a stereo receiver with our powered speakers. And everything's very compact and you just get a much bigger sound than what you'd think you would get out of a speaker cabinet. Um, and our price points are, are uh, very reasonable. You know, it's just very economically priced audio gear. Portable Bluetooth audio systems and other 
charge power charging devices such as our boost series we have a whole line of lightning connecting products uh, more Bluetooth products as well as airplay we're showing a new second screen app called dish Explorer it's an app that you use while you're watching TV in your living room to recommend programs to watch so you're not spending time channel surfing but actually watching valuable shows valuable content as well as engaging in social media conversations so you can track what people are saying on Facebook and Twitter and use the app uh, and the iPad to in comment and engage those fans uh, directly but it also allows you to change your TV directly from the iPad so you don't need the remote control anymore you can set that aside and control your TV right from your iPad uh, and tune to shows that are the most popular uh, uh, that are on right now CS 2013 is about pure monster sound and we're combining fashion together with entertainment com combined with uh, technology. So we bring the technology, we got brand ambassadors for fashion, our products have an incredible new look. We want to attract young kids, uh, older travelers, uh, housewives, a sporting enthusiasts. So our goal at CES here is to introduce a whole plethora of new products that are extremely exciting and they all have pure monster sounds, so they sound incredible. And we show also some new models for uh, mainstream, like um, the comics series here, with uh, its uh, headphones, uh, target price at 29, 39 euro, with nice graphics. Uh, we have also some new series uh, in collaboration with uh, Belgium DGs, like Noisy Boys and uh, Mademoiselle Luna. And uh, also we are launching now a range of um, Bluetooth speakers, so mobile speakers. The first model is this one, P200, and um, we'll launch uh, a complete range uh, in the first uh, quarter of 2013 too. And finally, uh, we have here our new Launch Square series. Uh, it's an affordable headphone targeted at uh, 24.90 euro uh, retail price. Well, we were the ones that really drove this at the start. We were the first system that anybody um, ever used, you know, we, and we found it almost by accident. We saw a, a problem at a trade show where people were literally throwing away thousands of DVDs that the studios had created um, to give away. And there was no security with it, no way of tracking what people were doing with the content. And so we found a way of developing a software that would manage all that content for them, deliver the content for them, protect it, and also track it. And in doing so, you know, we save studios that we work with millions of dollars a year just by giving them an answer to the biggest problem they had, which was, well, what do people do with our content?